During my adventures in British Columbia and further north in the Yukon and Northwest Territories, I was struck by the amount of abandoned wrecked vehicles I would often come upon. Look at this car, for example. Looks like it caught fire and burnt to a crisp. How long had it been lying here? One thing was for certain, this was not my car. My car is a glorious Subaru Outback 2017, and in the autumn of 2022, I drove it across the Dempster Highway all the way to the Arctic Ocean. It's an amazing, reliable beast that has had its fair share of adventures in otherworldly locations. Here it is in the parking lot near the Whistler train wreck. In both autumn 22 and 23, I've driven it from California to Canada, and I plan on having many more adventures with it. Presently, I was in Pemberton Valley, British Columbia. The village of Pemberton sits in the majestic, picturesque valley surrounded by mountains. Pemberton has a farming community that supplies fresh produce to nearby Whistler. This valley, with its friendly town and endless trails and mountain scenery, is an adventurer's dream. Hiking, climbing, mountain biking, you name it. So far, I'd visited Nairn Falls, the amazing Alpine Joffrey Lakes, as well as walked a portion of the Mackenzie Basin Trail, all of which were a part of Pemberton Valley. Next, I decided to hike the trail around One Mile Lake. I tell you, Pemberton Valley in British Columbia is a real gem for hiking. There are lots of trails. There's some intimidating ones that I haven't done yet. One's a huge steep uphill one called Cop Killer. <laughs> that sounds intimidating to me, but I don't know, maybe I'll give it a shot. You know, it may be that I just happen to be reading this part of Lord of the Rings right now. I've been rereading it. I'm actually in Fellowship of the Ring and um, all this landscape reminds me of the wilds. It's called the wilds in the book. It's it's and the movies. It's in Eriador, and it's between Bree, the village of Bree, and the Misty Mountains. And you know, it's a kind of a trackless wild, sort of sort of valleys and brackens, and occasionally you get distant views of the Misty Mountains. And in the Third Age, at the time of the story. It's a very desolate area. You know, the east-west road, you're only gonna see dwarves hurrying across these roads on their business and they're not friendly to others. And, you know, they attend to their own business and finances and stuff. And sometimes there's evil folk about on the road, but it's a creepy, desolate kind of rundown time. And Pemberton Valley is anything but desolate and creepy, but it's got that kind of, um, that sort of beauty to it where it's, uh, it's it because it's open and sort of desolate in its own way it just reminds me of the wilds hill I was just walking down is a straight up bike path with jumps and stuff like that so it's not really a trail. So if you're in uh, Pemberton Valley and you want to find like a trail map, you know aside from using all trails if you want to look at a map and, and see trails for bike paths and hiking and everything. Go to the Bike Co. store. I uh, just picked up a trail map. Awesome. <laughs> 